In this video, we're going to show you how to get uh, an account in the Databricks Community Edition. So first you have to go to https colon slash slash community.cloud.databricks.com uh, and then it'll take you to this login prompt. So here you have to first create an account so you should sign up and that will bring you um, this um, URL databricks.com try databricks uh, so the try databricks for three for free has the following we are going to go for uh, uh, this option as lightweight trial hosted by databricks okay so let's uh, so I'm gonna have suprarec um, fill this out And this can be Uppsala University. Okay, so there's a student. It's optional and yeah so let's try this so choose a cloud provider we will choose Amazon Web Services and let's see so here you want to go to get so yes, you want to hit get started with community edition uh, and maybe not this directly. So let's try this. Please solve this puzzle so we know you're a real person. Pick the donut. Okay. I guess time to check your email. So Suprarek used his uh, Uppsala student email. So you should be able to use your um, Gmail or some other personal email. But, uh, try that. So let's try this link. To use some password. Um, oops, there was one symbol. Okay, so now you are in, okay? Once you're in, a um, few mechanics before we get started. So you can go to workspace, and if you see users, you're the only user, uh, and this is where you would put libraries later. So the first task I want you to do is to create a folder and this folder will be scalable minus data minus science. So please try to keep the spelling the same because later on this will be important. So scalable dash data dash science. So create the folder. So this will be in the workspace area because you went to the workspace and then did create folder. Okay? So now this is where we will keep copies of the course content and um, to be essentially able to load uh, data, I will explain this in the first day of the class. So we, we can do this uh, here. Okay, thank you very much.